Hi guys, hot topic at the moment, jewel piece uh, being revisited and um, many different variations of the jewel piece. So a lot of people associate the jewel piece with a particular circuit and that's not actually correct. The jewel piece is any circuit um, that can take a low voltage and a high current and turn that into a high voltage and a low current. So um, normally we're looking at the old 1.5 volt battery that's uh, been run flat. The most common things are toys in that, they want to operate and uh, we simply steal the last remaining bit of energy, hence the word beef, out of that uh, flat battery. So um, that's the idea behind a dual piece circuit is to take a very low voltage at a higher current and turn that low voltage into a higher voltage at a lower current which enables us to drive things like LEDs and uh, CFLs and what have you not so um, the dual piece isn't actually a single particular circuit although there is a common circuit used which is very simple um, to make a dual faith, but uh, a dual faith can be any circuit which simply boosts voltage to the desired amount. Here we have the solid state SSG circuit. Plain Jane SSG circuit, I do not have the 100 ohm resistor on the base, I simply have a 10k pot. Um, I'm using a toroid, <coughs> 8 to 1 turn ratio primary being the 1, the secondary that's driving the base and switching on the transistor is the 8 that is so we can bring the primary coil voltage down very low and um, still have ample to drive the transistor from the secondary so um, there you go at the moment this one is running very stable at 20.5 kilohertz and that is a 10 mil LED so a large one and uh, very bright as you can see no problem at all so I guess what you're interested in is um, how much this very basic circuit um, is being supplied in the way of voltage well there are those out there that say that um, these will not run at a very low voltage nowhere near as good as the um, commonly used dual fee circuit well it's a little info for you at the moment we're running on 250 millivolts or 0.25 of a volt at uh, 23 milliamps the pot turned up fairly high at the moment or very low should I say in resistance so the transistor is being switched on fairly hard but um, we have a nice bright 10 mil LED light very stable operation and once again we are only using 0.25 of a volt so although the current draw may seem high the voltage is very low our LED is a large LED and very bright we were using a small LED like this of course we would use a lot less current because we could trim the uh, pot up drop the base resistance or lift the base resistance up and um, causing the transistor to um, not switch on quite as hard but um, this standard Bedini circuit absolutely no problem at all driving that large LED at 0.25 volts it will in fact drive that LED at 0.17 volts no problem at all um, of course not quite as bright but that all comes down to your um, the way you wind and the ratios you use on your toroid core in this case so um, we know that uh, this circuit will pull this battery down to about 0.2, 0.2 volts 
even down to 0.17 volts no problem at all and um, like I said this is just a plain Jane Bedini circuit the solid state SSG circuit is all we're using here so that operates just as good as any dual piece circuit and um, just as good as the original circuit no problem at all and like I said it's very stable at this very low voltage so there you go no problem at all nothing special about a dual piece circuit it's just a voltage boosting circuit and uh, nothing else so what we're going to do now is we're going to build ourselves another dual face. We're going to get rid of the transistor and we're going to get rid of our potentiometer and uh, we'll see how low a voltage we can get something um, to run to drive this LED using a uh, mechanical setup. So there's many ways you can build a dual piece. It is not one set circuit, it is any circuit that will boost the voltage enough to drive whatever you wish to drive with it, whether it be an LED or a CFL, anything like that. But, um, there you go. The plain Jane solid state SSG circuit, no problem at all, 9.25 volts, nice and stable. So um, that kicks any claim that nothing works as well as the dual fee circuit or the original most commonly used dual fee circuit to drain down these little batteries. So this one will work quite fine. We could use a smaller transistor and uh, more turns and we could get that even more efficient with a small LED. We're driving a 10mm LED and we're using a beefy 2N3055 transistor, um, some nice heavy gauge wire and this is working quite fine. Alright, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next video where we make a very simple solid state mechanical conversion job of the dual face. Looks like the mosquitoes are out. Cheers guys and uh, we'll see you next time.